Today, we're going to be reviewing the 150 amp hour battery pack by Battery Evo. Now, to get an insanely low price, some assembly is required. When you get this pack, you'll have two boxes that look like this. Inside of the big box are your four cells. Now, these cells are guaranteed to have 150 amp hours apiece, and they're 3.2 volt cells. And in here, this is the battery management system. So let's check out in here what we have. First things first, the control box that has the BMS inside of there. We also have a PCB with some hardware and a couple of components to create our own Anderson connector to get the power out. Inside of this bubble wrap, we're gonna find a nut driver, the hardware for the batteries, a couple of plastic spacers, and the PCB that acts as a bus bar, as well as a plastic cover that will protect all of our connections from short circuits. Now you may call me crazy when I tell you this, but this inner cardboard box is actually part of the case that contains all this. So I've been hiding back here a couple of strips of VHB tape that I'm gonna stick here on the side, and this is double stick tape. And with this on the side, I can go ahead and mount the management board right here onto the side of the battery. Now, this is meant for stationary applications, so uh, if you're in a different environment that this cardboard box won't work for, you may want to exchange that for something else. Then we're going to grab the PCB and set it on here. Now, as far as which side this management system goes on, it could go on either side because the way this works with the PCB, um, the cells come pre-configured in a staggering negative positive orientation. And if you look, negative on the PCB here corresponds to negative uh, on the battery here. But if I were to flip this around, no matter which way you do it, you have the negative of the PCB corresponding to the batteries. Now I'm going to put the side with the two connectors toward the battery management system. And then I'm going to grab my pack of hardware and start threading in the bolts. Now I almost got ahead of myself on the last negative connection and the last positive connection. We have these two main power cables that we want to connect on. So first I'm going to connect on the main negative cable here. And that is the cable that is uh, the white one. It doesn't have any red on it. That one's negative. And then the big red cable that goes on the positive terminal. And I'm going to try and route this as best as possible. The cable is a little bit long, but that's okay. Um, it would have been better if I did this before I started threading the bolt in, but no problem there. So we get the main positive on there. And what this circuit board has saved us from is it has saved us the entire nightmare of wiring up individual balance leads. So we have this harness that comes out of the BMS. That just plugs right in here to the circuit board. Now ideally I wouldn't have all this slack up here, so I'm going to go ahead and pull the six screws out of the BMS box because we have a little bit of wiring to double check in here. There are six screws that hold the cover on and it pops right open. So now this cover comes off nice and easy. I can pull the slack into this battery just like this. And now that's a bit neater. And in here, this is the battery management system. Uh, this is all hooked up and ready to go, but there is a two pin header here that was disconnected. This simply plugs into the back of this display right here. And that's there so that when we turn the system on, we get a voltage readout here. Now, I wanted to get all of this done before I torque down the uh, bolts on the cells just to make sure all the wiring's ready to go. Now I can use the included nut driver to get these tightened down nice and tight. Now, if you have a socket wrench, you may be able to get a little bit more torque on there, but these battery terminals don't need to be super, super tight, just tight enough to get a good connection to the circuit board. With all the connections in place, we can pull out the plastic standoffs from this little baggie, and there are little holes in the corners of this circuit board, and these standoffs simply just plug right in there just like that, and those are gonna make sure that our top cover is not like sagging or comes detached. They lock into place, they're single use, but they get the job done 
quite effectively. From there, we can just pop into place our top plastic cover to protect all of the connections. And there we go, before I close this up, I'm gonna turn on the circuit breaker and make sure everything's working. We can see here 12.1 volts, which is great. And now I can just kind of make sure all the wires are good to go in this box here and get the six screws put in. So now in terms of getting power out of this battery, we have a couple options. It includes this Anderson SB175 connector that plugs into the port up here on the top of the battery. But uh, if you don't want to crimp these, there are Anderson cables available that are pre-made and ready to go that can just plug into the top like that. Now in this case, this is just an adapter to Anderson SB50, but they make cables that have ring terminals on them that can bolt right onto your inverter or other system. Now let's talk about a couple of features. As you saw, this does have a circuit breaker. This is a 250 amp breaker. You can parallel these with ease and you can also connect them in series for up to 48 volts. So that makes this pack pretty universal. We also have the battery management system within that is individually monitoring each and every cell to make sure they aren't overcharged or over discharged. So that makes it quite the universal pack. Now, if you're interested in purchasing this, we'll provide links in the description as well as for some Anderson cables with ring terminals if you're interested. Real quick, one other option I almost forgot about. If you want to save even more money, you don't have to buy the battery management system. And if you don't like the battery management system, even better. You can buy these just the raw cells and the raw cells come with bus bars. Now these are just some bus bars I had laying around, but they work for these. I don't have the actual ones that they come with, but you can buy these, like I said, just cells, bus bars and bolts, and you can put your own BMS on here and use these cells for whatever you want. So that's one more option that's available to you. Again, links in the description below. See you guys in the next one. Have a great day.